Stretch them from your feet to your nose like a jersey cotton sheet. The arms, the arms you offer up to your God, he doesn't want them. Here, here are the lips I prophesied you with. Here is the sweet talking tongue who asked for stasis. You take the lips and the tongue, put them in your pocket. You will put your jeans in the wash and pick their paper crumbles from your pocket for weeks. Here, here are my lungs. You take them, use them as a pillow. Your ear pressed to the trunk, I begin to wheeze. But here, look here. Here are my feet who ached for your presence, who cried when you were not here and cried when you were. Here are my feet who quietly walked toward a version of myself while you stayed in your room. Here are my feet, crusted, bloody, swollen. Here are my feet, tired, bunioned, and bruised. You, you see my feet as a reflection of the love you cannot reciprocate, not here. You gaze into the mirror of my feet and ask who is the fairest of them all. For once they are silent, you ask again your voice and extended hand. That's the thing about mirrors. The only answer they give is the serpent sliding from your mouth. When I was younger, um, we dog sat my uncle's dog for two years, <laughs> and I was just, I was at a good age where I um, didn't remember a time when the dog wasn't ours, so I thought, I thought this dog was, was mine, so I was really confused when the dog wasn't ours anymore, <laughs> so this is the title, it's kind of long, so bear with me. You weren't our dog, but when I came home from school, you covered my forearms and slobber kisses. Oh. One day the house was missing you and I asked, where is my Windsor? Dad looked amused and answered, she went home to your uncle. We had you so long I'd forgotten you weren't really ours. Your dad couldn't take care of himself, so my family took care of you instead. I loved when your tongue hung out of your mouth like a dead fish, bits of wood stuck to your taste buds. You panted, the wet dripping off your tongue to show how warm you were under that thick winter coat. In the winter, I packed moist snowfalls into balls and threw them skyward. You followed like a duckling, sprung with your strong legs, and snatched it out of the air, crushing the coal between your teeth. I watched your eyes light like an African daisy, holding its petals wide to the morning. When you got too old, my dad had to be the one to put you down. When you left, I felt the breath leave you and dissolve into my hands. One more super super short poem, and it's also kind of sad. But then I'm gonna lift everybody's spirits with a song, so it's okay. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and this title is just torboarding. Um, the title is Funeral. I'm sorry, it's really short. The black dress says, "I will hug your curves." I read between the lines. It means to say, "I will offer no comfort." Oh, wow.
this is a song that I wrote, and it's called My Female Anthem. Um, I'm just going to adjust this for you. smarter than your Julia Max flat. If you'd have asked a lady, we'd have drawn it round because we'd know it's time to roll it at a couple extra pounds. 